before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now it's crazy to believe that some crimes can still shock you, but carpet fitter 36 year old John Allison did surprise me, even if he is a piece of crap through and through. Now in a fit of rage, John Allison stabbed an ex-footballer, 33 year old Daniel Pittam, not once, not twice or three times. He stabbed Daniel five times, including a stab straight through the heart with a hunting knife. Now, ex-footballer Daniel Pittam and John Allison had been drinking together with a third person at a pub before the frenzied attack began, and the crazy thing about it was they were all friends with each other. Now, during the stabbing, it would have been virtually impossible for Daniel to fend himself against the knife because he had lost an arm in a crash, thus making him disabled. Now, once John Allison and his mate Scott Warner had killed their friend, they grabbed a rug and rolled down his body in it before stashing his corpse underneath the stairs. Now, this is how messed up the dynamic between John Allison and his wife Tony is. Once the murder was committed, John messaged his wife by text, telling her, and I quote, I've done something really bad, baby. I've got to sort it before I end up in jail. Now, in reply, his wife, Tony, did not tell him to go to the police. Instead, what she said was, get rid of your phone. So police eventually found Daniel's body underneath the stairs at John's house. And during the court case, John denied all charges against him. Like I said, he is a scumbag through and through. What he did was, initially, he tried to claim self-defence. When the murder was committed, it was a butchery, a slaughter, and it was two against one. How can you pull out a hunting knife, stab a person who has one arm, five times, included through the heart, get a piece of carpet, roll up the dead body in it, bleach the spot where you stabbed your friend, and then when police investigate the crime, you turn around and say, oops, it was self-defence? That takes a lot of gall. Now, John Allison was sentenced at White Crown Court to 22 years in prison and the judge told him he must serve at least 22 years before he can be considered for parole. All I can say is condolences to Daniel Pittam who died. Stay safe, safe. 